Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now I know the internet is already awash and full of videos with spring makeup, but I thought I would do one for you today. Let's also all just take a moment to welcome this ginormous monstrosity that has come in on my face. As you can see, I'm like almost completely hairless, but when I do once in a blue moon need to shave, I often get a huge big spot. So hopefully that will be covered up. Today's video, I'm gonna be using all products that you can find at Poundland. They have an in-store range called Makeup Gallery, and I actually did their most recent foundation launch, which you can now see out in stores um, UK wide. And every single product is a pound. When I was working with them, they kindly gifted me their entire range. So I have lots of options to choose from. The only thing I ironically don't have is the foundation foundation um, because it wasn't actually out yet when we did the photo shoot. So I'm going to be sneaking in a first impressions review of another product which came to me in PR, which is the Me Cosmetics BB Cream. So I'm going to whack that on first and then every single other product after is going to be just one pound. So this is the Skin Loving BB. Um, it's their new BB cream. And I'm using the shade number one, um, which is Fair. I use their Velvet Radiance Face Base, which is more of sort of like a velvety matte foundation, a little bit more full coverage. It actually does work for my skin, even though I'm dry, but I was really excited to try this one because I naturally do lean to a glowier formula and BB cream sort of tinted moisturizers, they're right up my street. So far already, I think this looks gorgeous. This really could not be any more up my alley. It's just giving me that little bit of coverage. I've got a little bit of radiance on the skin, so it's not taking away any of the um, sort of natural skin texture, but it is evening out my skin tone. And <laughs> my skin's been a bit troublesome recently, so I'm really, really liking it. It's obviously not a full coverage, so it's not gonna cover all my blemishes. But that is what concealer is for. <laughs> okay, so this is the hide and sheet concealer. I don't often use a lot of these sticks because I do tend to find them quite dry, but hopefully, because I don't have a huge amount of blemishes at the moment, just sort of like the main, what is this, this big boy, um, it should be okay. I'm just gonna use a tiny little brush. Again, I think I'm using shade fair. Might even be a touch light for me, but I just need to get that little bit of coverage on. And if you use a little flat brush like this, that's how you're gonna get the most out of your concealers when they are this sort of harder formula. Um, I'm very unlikely to use one of these sort of things and just paint it on the face. I don't really like doing that. Now, as you can imagine, that concealer is not really the best for me. It's not something that I would necessarily choose to use. But for a pound, it's done the job. It's concealed what it needed to do. It's just not the most enjoyable to use because it is that drier formula. It does work better on spots. Um, I'll see how it works under the eyes uh, later on once we've finished doing the eyeshadow. And moving on now to the contour kit. This one is medium two and they have like a blush um, and a bronzer. The blush is actually cream and the bronzer is powder. And I just want the blush for this. Now, as we're doing spring, I am going to go in with a very, very bright colour. And that's why I wanted to go with this one, um, just because I want that really flushed spring cheek. And I'm going in for quite a lot of it. I'm keeping the placement really high and I know it looks crazy at the moment, but once you've blended it all out, I promise you it's gonna give you this gorgeous sheen. Again, this is a product that has a slightly drier um, formula. So it just means it is actually going to be quite long lasting. I'm following up with the cream highlighter in Bloom 2. I guess you can't really see the shade of this, but it has a reflex that is a little bit pinky. So when it's on the skin and you turn to the side, you do actually see a sort of pinky glow. Now, can you imagine getting such a highlighter for one pound? It's absolutely unbelievable. And I am taking it in on the sort of higher planes of the face as well, just to get the glow all over. Now that is a really, really wonderful sheen. Foolishly, I wasn't recording when I thought I was, but what I've just done is mix on the back of my hand a whole scrape of that concealer to kind of warm it up with the BB cream that I was wearing. And I've just been dabbing that on the inner corners of my eyes, um, almost as a concealer. I just know for a fact that my under eyes can't handle the dryness of the concealer on its own. So I needed to put something a little bit more dewy and moisturized um, to actually get my under eyes concealed. I will pop a little bit just around the sides of my nose as well. As a base to the eyes, I'm going to go in with that same cream blush and just pop it over the lid. It has a sort of um, almost cream to powder texture, so when it's blended out, it does seem to set down a bit. So I think it might actually be a really good base. Whisper it a little bit above the crease. 
And because it's a cream, it's just really, really easy to blend. No harsh lines, nothing to worry about in that sense. You can just pat it and it does all the blending for you. Now, at this point, I would normally go in with a sort of blush to lay over the lid because obviously with the hooded eye, it's going to transfer as it is a cream. But I'm going to go in with this highlighter. It's kind of got like a peachy, um, pearly shade. I'm only going to whisper the slightest amount of this over the eye. And for some definition, I'm going in with the Call Me, Call Me Beautiful eyeliner in brown. And we're doing a smudge just along the base of these lashes so that it's a little bit more gentle. Now, sadly, on my eyes, um, this coral eyeliner does smudge a little bit. Um, and I've just found that it's quite a smudgy pencil in general. So I do normally set it. And I'm going in with the eyebrow kit. This is actually what I used for my eyebrows today. They're quite dark because I use the darker colours. I mix these two together. And I'm doing the exact same thing, but just laying that over my liner um, to give it a little bit more intensity and to make sure it doesn't smudge. You know, we are using a cream shadow on the eye so we really don't want to take any chances that it's going to go all over our face and i'm just working that into the outside corner and the outer v of the eye for that little bit of drama and while i've got this palette out there's a lovely shimmery highlighter in this and i'm going to pop that in the inner corners again i think sort of you know bright lovely light shades just gives you a little bit of something extra for a spring or summer look Seeing that on those sort of inner corners, I'm actually going to take a little bit and just pop it on the very inner lid here, just because I think that brightness looked so pretty. Okay, and I'm going to go in with the Turn Up the Volume and Define Mascara. This one's the waterproof one. Again, I always recommend waterproof for anyone with hooded eyes. This isn't going to be the most dramatic formula that you've ever used, but I do personally like a lighter finish on lashes often, especially with these sort of fluttery looks. Now you won't believe it, but since I've been using my lash serum, I have actually grown in some bottom lashes. And because this formula is quite dry, I've gone in and popped a little bit on there. I'm so proud that they're like finally growing, but I jabbed the mascara wand right into my eye and it's gone bright red in the corner. So please excuse me for that. It's not the fault of the mascara, fully user error. And we're finishing off the look with one of the Pout Matters lip matte colors. These are award winning. Um, for a pound, these are incredible. And this one is barely nude. It is a stunning pink nude and the texture is just so nice and pillowy soft on the lips. It's not like a like a liquid matte lipstick that normally is quite drying. It's got a sort of, I don't know, like a slippery texture that just makes it feel so nice on the lips. And in an ideal world, I'd probably go in with like a nude liner around the lip, but the nude is um quite a pale colour um, for me and I've got such pigmented lips I can't get away with it so I'm using Fuchsia Fizz just to give me the definition that my lips really really need. And I completely forgot to show you the powder. I think this is honestly one of the best products in the line. Um, it's just a setting powder, it's not like a foundation powder, at least it's not for me. Genuinely, for one pound, I think this, I mean, it's better than some of the really expensive ones out there. I'm actually gonna as well go in with a little bit of lip gloss just because why the hell not it's little baby pink honestly their lip products are really really great they don't provide you the most sort of long lasting wear but if you can keep on top of it they've got nice colors nice formulas they're comfortable to wear on the lips and i just think they look really nice that one's in ballet pink okay so here we are here's the final look it's just a really bright colorful springy youthful look i really really love all these products um for a pound you really can't beat them obviously i think the performance of slightly more expensive products are going to be a little bit better but realistically a powder for a pound the eyeshadows I don't think I showed you their quads, but I mean, these eyeshadow quads are absolutely fantastic and just for one pound. They even do a range of eyelashes that are a pound and, you know, they are a little bit plasticky, but if you're in a pinch, why not? I hope you enjoyed today's look. If you have any questions, please pop them in the comments below. Let me know of any recommendations for videos that you want me to film for you. And until next time, I'll see you all again. Bye, guys.